Silence is wisdom. Job chapter 13 and verse 5. If only you could be silent, that's the wisest thing you could do. This is the text from the book of Job and it was Job's response to his friends who were accusing him of his sins and the implications of which he was going through. Job was actually arguing his case with God, a typical reaction when we go through hard times of life. Job in his frustration was questioning God and was trying to justify that he was innocent and blameless. Nevertheless, he knew the best would be to remain silent. Silence lays to rest all sorts of commotions. Such silence was witnessed in the life of Jesus during his crucifixion. Jesus was brought for trial before Pontius Pilate and he wanted to know the reasons for such a trial so he could help Jesus out of this ordeal. Jesus remained silent. His silence did not mean arrogance. It meant obedience to the will of the Father. It was not that Jesus could not have argued out Pontius Pilate. It was just his magnanimity to remain quiet. It was Jesus' obedience to a greater glory and call, submission to the Father for the sake of pleasing God and for the blessings of the world. Can we be silent like Jesus in tough times of our life? It is indeed a no if we have to be outrightly honest. However, it is not impossible. Silence settles issues at workplace, quarrels at home and everywhere. We need to practice silence. We don't reserve comments, we are quick to share. If we remain quiet, many problems will never exist or even begin and if there is any, even that will cease to exist. Silence makes you wise, sets your problem free in life. Silence is wisdom. Amen.